review hopefully you will enjoy this one and <laughs> yes I get I showed you the worst possible matchmaking you're gonna get in the leopard in this game now this isn't this is an ace I think so uh, I played this a while back like uh, a few weeks ago I think and um, yeah this thing is 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 awesome I would say uh, I didn't use this machine cannon in the loosh 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 whatever you call that one here for I uh, didn't use it because I felt like the reload was just too long. But then I, I saw Jingo's video and I was like, actually, this thing has quite a good pen, so let's give it a go. And here's the leopard. I grinded out the leopard really fast, actually, because I felt like it's so easy to to grind this one. Actually, it's, it's not hard at all. The problem with this gun is that over distance, so over maybe 200 meters, you're not gonna pen anything, and uh, if you even shoot way like far like 300 meters or more the, the shell just dis disappears you don't even see the shell ding off the tank it just disappears randomly uh, even if it's like a chaffy it just it just never gets there to be honest um, I don't know why uh, probably game balance reasons and I don't uh, it's not me spotting them I don't think but again nothing wrong staying here yet I'm looking for a possible uh, shot on people. I'm not gonna pen that super version. I can hold down my my uh, position here. It's not a big problem yet. Um, I'm I'm looking for gaps, ways to go. So you see me shoot shots into him. This is 300 meters, just just slightly more than 300, 313, and managed to do a, a little bit of damage. And uh, that's that's pretty decent <coughs> at that range, to be honest. But you really need to. <coughs> Sorry about that. You really need to, let's say, uh, choose your opponent wisely. Um, a panther, I'm never going to pen him at that distance. Um, now it's just a game, time wasting game, and uh, we'll, we'll skip this bit slightly. Um, we're just going to wait. The mobility is pretty awesome, but now Super Persian appears. How stupid am I to go after Super Persian? But you're you're gonna you're gonna be surprised actually how well I do against a tier eight medium in a light tank. So here I go, right around him, puts a one shot into him. He he misses completely. I wait for my reload, seventeen seconds, uber long for a machine cannon. But uh, I can't wait this thing out. I don't mind. And um, as long as the RT don't focus me, I'm fine here. And then let's let's go wrap this guy up. He is uber bad player. Uh, I don't know what is his thing in his brain. He actually lets me do this thing to him. <laughs> if you get opponents like this every day, then what it has can be a lot more enjoyable, uh, isn't it? Uh, it's funny how how oh shit now there's a Shafi and uh, yes I was talking on the f I, I got another phone call then and holy shit he imagined me and this pressure. Building up, a Shafi in front of me, super pushing on my ass, and I need to make the correct decision very quickly here. I'm thinking, well, let's go take out the the Shafi. You can see uh, my mouse is not moving as actively as it should have been uh, because uh, I was in a cold, so on my mobile phone, in fact, uh, which is quite unfortunate in this situation here. And then super pushing, try to chase me. It's not the best idea to chase after leopard. In a super person, and super person gets distracted. Is he even a bot? I, I mean, he might actually be a bot at that capability. He doesn't seem to know how to predict, or in fact, how to uh, let's say do anything. Really, look at this shit. I'm just doing. I'm just playing with him here. I'm doing barely any damage, but it's a tier eight game. What do I? What do they expect me to do? Apart from spotting, and look at him! Look at him! Look at him with the gun. Is he? He's even playing with a calculator instead of a computer, yeah. or he's playing on a graphic uh, graphic calculator, or he doesn't have a brain, or he's just I don't know what he's thinking. Uh, playing as a bot. I think he's a bot actually. Look at this! What the fuck is this shit? His bot program must have botted out, uh, like uh, broke or something. But this is just insane, insane farming. <laughs> Holy shit! And I get to unload a clean clip into the ass of the super person there, 
and we managed to win all that thing with 1.5k damage done and uh, 2 kills in a tier 8 game. So what, what can I complain about this tank? Not much. I, I love this thing actually. I don't like the VK2801. Uh, you might hate me for saying that, but it doesn't work at all. It's got some shitty howitzer so that got nerfed to shit. The heat round on that thing has 100 mil pen. Come on, what what the fuck is this 100 mil pen in a t in a VK2801? 100 millimeter pen. That is shocking. J just just super shocking to have. So I I don't know why, but I I didn't look forward to this tank actually. But game after game, this tank has proved itself the value. How how valuable it is, actually. If you play it properly, it's got some fair amount of armor actually on the front where you can bounce um, enemy sh small caliber shots like the Shafis. So overall, I I do enjoy this thing. Don't be afraid to play it. I was certainly afraid to play this tank before. I felt like this is just I don't know. I didn't feel like this German tank is uh, is good enough. Uh, to play, but now, now uh, looking back at it, uh, I feel like it's it's a lot better. And um, after all this playing, I feel like this thing is is it's a pretty nice tank actually. But I didn't pick up the kill there, so we end this game 1.5k damage almost. And uh, hopefully this one has shown you the capability of it. Although it's not that good of a game, but it just shows you that even in a tier eight game, don't give up. Just just do your best. And that way you can have good stats and not lose as often. So hopefully this one has been enjoyable and we'll see you next time.